Flip City family, what is up? It is Desi Rose, who just turned 10 months today, which is why she's all dressed up. We just had your photo shoot, right? Oh, and great. Uh, and Daddy, back in the kitchen to do a what's in my freezer right now quarantine edition. And man, oh man, did you see Rose out in the back? My outdoor seven cubic foot freezer is stocked to the gills. And the funny thing is, I bought this two months ago, way before any of this stuff started, because I literally ran out of space in my freezer. We have so much great stuff that I started uh, stocking it in the new freezer. And now that we have the uh, stay at home order and the quarantine, it's full. When I first got it, I'm like, well, it's really big. And it turned out daddy filled it up pretty darn easily. So I wanna do what's in my freezer video right now, quarantine edition, because Rose and I did the pantry video a couple weeks ago. And this video is sponsored by Primal Kitchen, who, as you know, it's one of the best Bobby approved uh, brands out there at the grocery store. Now they have brand new frozen skillets and bowls that are coming to the grocery store. Rose is excited. I'm excited. And they were nice enough to send a few things ahead of time. Um, they're made with grass fed beef, high quality chicken, all thriller, no filler, crazy good ingredients, really good flavor combinations. And we're gonna cook these up uh, towards the end of the video. I'm gonna make actually this uh, chicken fried cauliflower rice. We're gonna make this one later on. Okay, first up in my freezer, and I think you should have in your freezer too, is all things grass fed, wild, organic, and free range, grass, grass fed, right? So I actually start with bones. So you guys know I love bone broth, but I've never actually showed you the bones that I use for them. So these are beef neck bones with some of the meat attached. That's actually really important for bone broth. These are massive beef knuckles here, all grass fed, grass finished. And it's for a little extra collagen. They're kind of freaky to look at, but these are chicken feet, pasture raised chicken feet. And they still have the nails on there, which is kind of crazy. But uh, we also have a few marrow bones back there. I think it's really important to get grass fed, 100% grass fed. Keep in mind, Rose, that 100% grass fed also means grass fed, grass finished. Uh, it has to say one of those two things, otherwise they are the cow finished on grain. Uh, just like the Primal Kitchen ones are 100% grass fed. Get these items. Um, if you can't find them at the grocery store, I'll leave links to local co-ops and a co-op finder in the description box because local farms around the country will have this kind of stuff for great prices. And I have a recipe on a safe story on Daddy's Flav City Instagram, right? And I have, oh, let me give you your, uh, your Daddy had to wash his hands, but here you go. Here's your pacifier. I have that safe story on my Flav City Instagram showing how to make uh, bone broth in the pressure cooker. Uh, the best one would be like an electric uh, pressure cooker because it keeps the smell inside. But in these bones, in these chicken feet are really good things you might know about like gelatin, collagen, which is great for your skin, right? Rose, not everyone has those yummy collagen filled cheeks, but it also has chondroitin, which is really good at boosting your immune system. Plus I swear by bone broth because it makes any soup stew or sauce a million times better. Remember those live streams we did recently? We used bone broth, right, to make red lentil curry soup, uh, Thai coconut like uh, Tom Kakam, amazing stuff using the grass-fed bones. So that is a must, and it's very easy to get it these days. Also, pasture-raised chicken. This is a local Indiana farm called Gunthorpe, right? You can have, you probably have a farm like this somewhere near you. Pasture raised chicken means that it's outside free to forage all day into the evening, eating bugs, worms, and grass, and only has a supplemental feed, in this case of non-GMO organic feed. You can't even find this at the grocery store. You can find grass-fed beef and bones at the grocery store. You can't find pasture raised chicken at the grocery store. The best you can do is organic, but I would leverage the co-ops to get uh, pasture raised chicken because it really makes a difference in terms of the quality of the animal life and the quality of the meat and the nutritional profile, which I'll elaborate more now with grass-fed beef. So this is actually 100% grass-fed, grass-finished steaks, strip steaks here, which I gotta get back in the freezer soon because it's hot today, and burger patties. So luckily now, Rose, all grocery stores pretty much have 100% grass-fed beef for really good prices. And a lot of people know maybe about the health benefits, but I'm gonna just reinforce the environmental benefits and the farmer benefits because 100% pasture-raised grass-fed beef, like the beef used in the beef and mushroom bowl right here, or the fajita skillet, 100% grass-fed beef, means the cattle never eat grain, so they never touch GMO soy and corn. It's really bad for the environment to have to grow GMO soy and corn every year and till the land. 
These are annual seeds that don't grow back. So every year you have to retail the land. And a farmer once described that to me as kind of like destroying the microbiome of the soil every year with these barren seeds. But also grass-fed beef rows, they munch on the grass and prune the grass all around the farm. So they're actually the, the uh, animal lawnmowers. Um, and any methane or farts they emit to the environment is offset by the uh, carbon neutral footprint of the grass or the plants reabsorbing it. See, it's cool, right? So a lot of grass fed farms are zero carbon footprint or carbon neutral. And it's better for the farmer because they're not stuck in these feedlots with these cows that are not free to roam. It's really not good. So 100% grass fed is the way to go. And it's very hard to find. Here you go, my sweet. Here's your pacifier. The birthday girl wants to party. Who wants to party, huh? Who wants to party? There you go. No? Okay. Oh, thank you, Mom. Mom's touch. See, I gave her the pacifier. It didn't work, but Desi did. I was going to say, it's really hard to find pasture-raised pork. No grocery stores have this. But if you get a local co-op, same thing as the uh, beef and the chicken, free to forage, not factory farming, which almost all pork in the grocery store is factory farmed. And then thinking outside the box, Desi and I love, and so does Rose, grass-fed beef liver or pasture-raised chicken livers. These are chicken livers and we make them for rose and a little bit of ghee and we feed it to our hole now. We used to blend it up. That's superfood for mommy and daddy, but also for babies. And that's the kind of stuff, grass-fed, pasture-raised, 100% uh, organic. That's the kind of stuff you want to stock when it comes to protein and bones in your freezer. All right, let's see what's next on my list. How fitting that rose is looking at a hell of Oh my gosh, that's right. That is uh, a pasture-raised, certified organic grass-fed farm, right, Rose? Right? Those, see those, those cows? That's not factory farming. That's that's grass-fed, and that that should be like, yeah, that should be a hundred acres, not the little circle there. <laughs> All right, the next ingredients are here, actually. Before we talk about rice, cauliflower, and brown rice, let's talk about the new Primal Kitchen skillets and bowls and how next level the ingredients are. So they have a bunch of assortments here of grass-fed beef bowls and skillets and chicken. We're gonna make this one later on. This is the fried, chicken fried rice cauliflower. Look at the ingredients here, right? This is what blew me away, and I expect nothing less from Primal Kitchen. We have rice cauliflower, organic dark meat chicken, not white meat, the dark meat is where the flavor's at. Look at the rest of the ingredients. There's no uh, corn starches in here, not even soy sauce because it's paleo. They're coconut aminos, which is delicious, and real seasoning, no filler, all real ingredients. And the same is true with the chicken pesto, the, uh, the grass-fed peppers and onions, steak fajitas. And here's the deal. Not only are all paleo, some are keto. So look at this. The uh, chicken pesto only has five net carbs, no cruddy oils. They're all made with extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil. Look at this one. This one's made with organic extra virgin olive oil, right? So everything they tell you on here, no grains, no cheese, no legumes, humanely raised, grass fed. This is how you do it, right? These are going to be in the grocery store very, very soon. I'll put a link down below that tells you what stores and we're going to make the uh, chicken fried cauliflower rice very soon. Do you want the microphone, my sweet? <laughs> okay. Next up is coffee, right? Raise your hand if you keep coffee in the freezer, right? Come on, just raise them up. A lot of people do it, right? Stop, right? I don't know why people think the freezer extends the shelf life of coffee. It actually does the reverse. It shortens the shelf life because what happens when you put beans in the freezer? It's very cold. Rose wants some mic time here. When it's cold, it makes the beans sweat. When they sweat, they release more of their essential oils and they age quicker. Reverse of what you thought was going to happen. Number two, um, when you put it in the freezer and you don't have a really good like vacuum seal bag, like most people don't. Uh, <laughs> She's going to ruin your audio bag. There you go. You have some corn there too? <laughs> Organic non-GMO corn, sweetie. Right, I'm going to switch my microphone here so Rose doesn't pull it out. Uh, the second negative effect of keeping in the freezer is that it will smell like your freezer does. A lot of freezers will smell like onions and broccoli and stuff like that. That will permeate the flavor of the beans unless you have like a vacuum sealed bag. So do not put this in your freezer. Actually, I want to make a video uh, maybe tomorrow about 
the best ways to buy and store coffee and tea, because we've talked about it in a bunch of different videos, but I thought doing it in one video quarantine style for pantry would be a cool idea. So not in the freezer, please. Now, here's something we keep in the freezer all the time. Organic riced cauliflower. And it actually doesn't have to be organic because cauliflower is a clean 15 and uh, brown rice that's already cooked. Now, we're pretty much a keto paleo household, but once in a while we like a complex carbohydrate. Ideally, I would get already cooked frozen wild rice. They don't have that, but you can make your own. So the reason I like having frozen cooked brown rice in your uh, freezer is because it's already cooked. And if you use this to make fried rice or pilavs, it actually has a great texture because it's already dried out. So when you add it to a skillet or a wok to make fried rice, it soaks up all the flavors of the pan and you actually want leftover or dry rice for fried rice. I would go with brown rice. And if it's actually made in the USA, it is, look at this. This one is made product of the USA. USA rice is lower in arsenic than um, Indian rice and Asian rice. So uh, you have to be careful for high levels of heavy metal, specifically arsenic in rice. And USA California rice is lower, so I'm glad to see that. And you guys know that I prefer fresh made cauliflower rice, but Desi, what's the one thing that we love to make where frozen is better? Cauliflower pizza crust. Exactly, we made that right on YouTube live stream with the ice cream the other day. You want it frozen because you actually want to be able to wring out as much moisture out of the cauliflower as possible. So it's good to make that and cauliflower tots. You don't have to buy organic, like I said, because it's clean 15. Um, I would buy organic rice because otherwise it's sprayed with some pretty harsh uh, chemicals, especially when it's grown in other parts of the world where they don't have the regulation we have. So these are great pantry staples to always have uh, in the freezer. Uh, I should say these are a great freezer staples to always have in there. Okay, what's next? Let's put that back in the freezer and grab out some organic berries. Frozen berries are so good for so many reasons. Number one, they're picked at peak ripeness and frozen immediately. Um, and they make great alternatives to fresh berries when you can't get them and they're always cheaper. But for berries, look at this word right here. You always want to get organic. Berries are always on the dirty dozen and organic is a must. And they're not only cheaper, but they make great desserts. We actually whip this, uh, some of these berries into a uh, ice cream for that keto uh, ice cream and pizza party we did the other day on live stream. And uh, they're always good for smoothies and stuff like that. Just get them organic and get them in bulk. The bigger you can get. Now it is tough to find some frozen berries. Are you eating the cow? Nice. Uh, at the market now, I had to go to three markets, but I found it. You can tell what market I found it at here. Um, but I would always stock these in the freezer. They're fantastic for many, many reasons. Also, it's really good to have wild salmon, your most quality uh, farm raised salmon, fish and shrimp in the freezer because Salmon is always frozen at the grocery store. Rose, when you go to the fishmonger counter and you see the salmon and the shrimp there and it looks like it's fresh, it's never fresh. It's always previously frozen and thawed. The key, the key, Rose, is that it's only thawed once because once you start to thaw and freeze multiple times, <clears throat> not only is that dangerous in terms in terms of introducing bacteria into the salmon, it also can mess up the texture. So buy uh, frozen salmon. It's actually a little cheaper sometimes and keep it in your freezer. Okay, what's next? All right, get the goods here. I forgot to mention for the frozen fruit, I also keep uh, frozen bananas in there all the time because they go ripe really quickly. And I use these to make my uh, post-workout smoothie uh, all the time. And uh, my post-workout smoothie hasn't been happening lately because I just can't do that at home workouts. This uh, stay at home quarantine has killed Desi and I's uh, fitness routine completely, but it did make a good banana bread that we made yesterday on Instagram stories, right? So at least I'm finding a way to use them. Nuts. Unless you eat your nuts really quickly, store them in the freezer. These are Bulgarian walnuts, actually. Desi's mom sends them to us. Uh, I'm not sure if that's 100% legal, but we won't tell anyone, <laughs> right, Rose? Um, because they have a lot of volatile essential oils and fats in there. And unless you keep them in a really cool place, it will go rancid relatively quick. Unless you eat them pretty quick, once again, it will go rancid. So I would just keep it in the freezer. It's a great way to preserve their shelf life. So that's basically all the stuff that's in my indoor freezer and outdoor. I'm really hungry now, it's lunchtime. Let's cook up the Primal Kitchen uh, chicken fried rice cauliflower that's not only paleo, but uh, it's delicious ingredients with the organic chicken and see how it is. I'll add a shot of avocado oil to a preheating skillet and then add the chicken fried cauliflower rice. And then I'll just 
break up any of the big pieces here. And then I'll slap down a lid and cook it for about seven to nine minutes until it's warm through. <laughs> See, even Rose wants it. You're not quite ready for this, my love. It's all about that dark meat. It's so juicy. And that fried egg right there, big chunks of it, right up daddy's alley. Mmm. That's dynamite. So guys, that's what's in my freezer right now. Quarantine edition. Make sure to check out the Primal Kitchen uh, bowls and skillets coming to a grocery store near you pretty soon. Thank you guys for sponsoring the video. If you have any other requests, leave a comment down below. Rose and I are here to entertain you and hang out with you. Tons of live streams still coming your way. So make sure you're not only subscribed, but you got to click the bell icon below the video and enable all notifications. Uh, we got two more videos going below us right now. But Rose Honey, the birthday girl, mommy and daddy will see you soon. Mm. Until then, we can say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys. Mm. That was good, huh?